everything in place? Almost. What do you mean, almost? I have spoken with Montreal. The broadcast satellites are ours when we need them. A few weeks of discomfort and the public will be primed for our recall. And the clinics? We control them most of it. They will do as we say. I still think we should wait for the referendum. We can't afford to wait. America's Science Board convenes next month. But the mood among the delegates is shifting. I'm positive that given more time... No. By going public with this discovery, Syrif is forcing our hand. The world will not change overnight just because David Syrif willed it. Besides, we can do nothing until our biochip is ready. I thought you said you were close. Finding the correct nerve interface has proven more challenging than anticipated. Fortunately, thanks to David, I now know where to look. And in Washington tonight, crowds continue to gather in front of the Capitol. Most are demanding that Congress severely restrict efforts to alter the human body's abilities. This in response to claims made by biotechnology expert David Seraph that his firm may have discovered a way to make human-controlled evolution available to all. Seraph Industries researchers are set to arrive in Washington tomorrow to defend their claim. But for tonight, this is Eliza Kassan reporting to you live. With all due respect, Major, I'll expect two security details waiting for us on the tarmac. No, we won't be going through the terminal, it's too exposed. Yes. I'm glad you understand. Good night, idiot. Something wrong? No, not for me it isn't. But you keep pulling on that necklace, Dr. Reed, and you're gonna break it. Come on, Meg. You've defended your research before. That was different. Then it was all just theories. But this discovery, Adam? It's big. Kepler big. Rosetta Stone big. So, what's the problem? They'll want to know how I found it. Megan, we're leaving for DC and... Adam, you're there. Good, good. You need something, boss? Yeah. I want to go over your security plans for Washington before we leave. You and your team ready to go, Megan? Almost, David. We're just rechecking data. Well, make it snappy. We have to actually be in Washington before you can dazzle all those federally appointed know-it-alls. I hate it when he does that. Come on, I'll walk you part way. Second. Come on, slow poke. You know, you really should get in the habit of locking your computer, Meg. I know, I know. Frank gets on me about it, too. Personnel only. What did you mean back there, Meg? About how you found it? Nothing. It's just my nerves talking. There's something I should know about this place, about Seraph. Megan, 
Hold on. We're still getting biochemical fluctuations across the artificial flow cells. Okay. But the increased neural peptides coming from the PDOT cluster could be throwing off your calibrations. Right. I'll double check that. I can't believe you were asking about David. You've been here long enough to know of Eric, you wouldn't be avoiding me, would you? I wouldn't dream of it, Dr. Reed. I think I know why Declan's readings are off. Too many peptides? I'm thinking the glial tissue breakdown we noticed after splicing in the repressive protein might be the cause. If we had a better cytometer... We might get a more accurate reading of the must be very company. I'll ask David times. to consider it. Well, if he orders one from Page Industries, maybe they'll throw in another cappuccino maker. You overthink everything, Adam. The work we're doing is good. We're helping people overcome their physical limitations. Yeah, except most of our clients seem to be DOD. You're doing it's good. Not all Just another hour to go. We work with teachers, doctors, construction workers. Oh. <gasps> Damn it! Watch it, Eddie. Those boxes are worth more than your salary. Sorry, sorry. Nia, you almost ready? Washington? Huh. Ah, Dr. Reed. This is General O'Neill. Dr. Sevchenko was telling me you've made progress on the typhoon. Yes. Thanks to Vasily, actually. As I was saying, sir, the Typhoon uses a modified combat chassis like the one I'm wearing. But I've improved its design using shaped microcharges to propel the steel balls. And the backblast problem? Solved through kinetic bleeders in the augment. Here, watch. Go ahead. I'll soon till it's ready. I'm afraid I have to run, but Vasily has all the details, General. Of course. We still have some work to do to improve the time. You're right. The teacher would just love having one of those things. You're missing the point. Defense contracts keep us afloat, but neural augmentations that make you think faster react quicker. They can really improve a life. Everybody's lives. David's talked about it for years. Yeah. He is a talker. He's a good man. Admit it, Adam. A part of you likes him. Oh, I like everyone, Dr. Reed. Yeah, right. How far are you going? Diane's office. I forgot to leave her a key so she can walk Kubrick. He's gotten big, you know. Keeps knocking over all my plants. Did you destroy that vase yet? I moved it. And I fenced in the yard. Like you always said you were going to. Yeah. Never got around to that. <laughs> Sorry. Me too. About a lot of things. Adam, I... There's something I... Good evening. Pritchard. So, are we all ready for the trip? There's Farida. I'd better hurry. See you at the helipad, Adam. Sure. Did I uh, interrupt something, Jensen? You fix that firewall yet? You don't fix an entire firewall. You find the loophole and plug it. Then did you plug it? Yes, I did. You want to know how? Oh, wait, I forgot. Ex-cop. I doubt you'd understand. Ex-SWAT, and you'd be surprised. Seraph has to see you too. Athena. She wants me to show her how to track our scientist implanted locator devices. In case your security plans in Washington don't measure up. They will. Gentlemen, how wonderful to see you both. Go right in, Adam. He's waiting. This is the newest in encrypted GPL trackers, Athena. It transmits data to our dedicated satellite. I don't care what it takes. I want you, Darrow, in Washington, by my side. The man doesn't jump for anyone. He's a Nobel Prize winner. Senators love this guy, Lyle. The hearings will go much smoother with him there. Big day for us tomorrow. Everything in place? Yes, sir. Capitol Police will escort us to the Hill, and then Federal Protection Services takes over. Good, good. How's our girl holding up? She's nervous. All she has to do is show him her research. She explain it to you? Not really into the whole science thing, boss. It's incredible. All those purists out there accusing us of tampering with the natural order. When all Megan's done is figure out how to unlock the potential that exists within our own DNA. It's safer and easier than anything you, Darrow, ever did. Environmental malfunction. 
Laboratory Subsection 6. All lab chiefs, please report in. We'd better not take any chances. Not tonight. Use my elevator to get down there. You know the code? Yeah, 0451. Let me know what you find. Athena, get someone to shut off the damn racket. Yes, sir. Richard, where's Megan? She reporting yet? Her GPL implant. Shows her moving through the micro cam labs. I think she's running. Damn it. Must have been a serious equipment failure. Can you get eyes on her? I'm trying, but the IntelliCams aren't responding. There's interference coming from somewhere. Find out what's happening, Jensen. Richard? Richard! Before you can do anything, you must be able to get around. The first move you'll want to learn is the crouch. It will allow you to get into small spaces such as air vents, or to hide behind low objects so you can move about unnoticed. Jumping on objects or ladders is essential for getting to those hard-to-reach places. Sometimes going high or low is not enough. Sometimes you just need to go fast. You'll only be able to sprint for a few seconds at a time, though, so use it wisely. Some objects in the environment can be picked up and moved. Use them to create paths to inaccessible areas, or as portable cover during a firefight. You can also throw them at the enemy if need be. When the lead starts to fly, it's wise to take cover. This will protect you from bullets and explosives. To shoot, peek out from behind your cover spot, either to the side or from above. Then take aim and fire. Whenever possible, use cover when moving around. Line of sight is important. And by keeping behind cover, you'll stand a better chance that enemies won't get a bead on you.
Bell's back.
repair that artery. David, you in the building? Just entered the lobby. Sorry to pull you out of sick leave so soon, but uh, we've got a situation. A break-in at our Milwaukee Junction factory. Meet me at the helipad. I have to see Pritchard first. Something's wrong with my retinal enhancement. Frank's on the second floor in the tech lab. Make it quick. People's lives are at stake. Why is David keeping the SWAT team from going in right away? Doesn't he remember the last attack? Okay. Not like six months ago. About time. What happened? You get stuck in an air duct on the way over? Yeah, nice to see you too, Francis. Something's wrong with my retinal display. Can you fix it? If it's what I think it is, probably. Of course, it might seem. Looks like your left and right imaging processors weren't completely in sync. But don't worry, your sentinel health implant will kick in soon, repairing any damage that might have caused. Your retinal display should be fine now. Its recognition software won't be picking up hostiles yet, but you should be seeing radar and targeting reticules. Biomedical data too, if you're in pain. Right. We done here? Because Seraph is waiting for me at the helipad. I know. Radicals have broken into our manufacturing plant and taken hostages. Maybe this time you'll actually save people. Lucky for you, I'm gonna ignore that comment. We're done here.
Attention, Ellen Marsfield. There is a package waiting for you at reception. My God. Mr. Jensen. I, I didn't think you'd... Oh. Wow. I guess you hear about the break-in. Did you... need directions or something? It hasn't been that long, Cindy. I may not look the same, but my memory's pretty intact. Oh, I, I didn't mean... I, I mean, of course, your memory's fine, sir. It's just that... Well, things have been switched around a lot, ever since the... Well, since the... Ever since the first attack? Yes, sir. The lab floors were pretty much demolished. We're rebuilding them, but most of our researchers are working off-site now. Everyone else has been shuffled around, so... If you need help finding someone... I don't suppose we moved the helipad, did we? I... I don't see how we could have moved it. <laughs> oh, you're teasing me. <laughs> Very funny, Mr. Jensen. Go up the stairs to the second floor, then around the cafeteria to the exit. I think I saw Farida heading there earlier. I'll find my way. If you say so. It's... it's good to have you back, sir. Mika Pine, your car lights have been left on. Mika Pine, your car lights are on. Hey, Adam. Can't tell you how glad I am you're back. Adam, how close are you to the helipad? Almost there. Good. Because SWAT's about to turn this into a PR nightmare. Meet me in the chopper. I'll brief you as we go. I doubt I need to remind you both. All the contracts we lost because of the last attack and the Washington hearings being postponed. Now this. Damn fanatics. Welcome back, Jensen. Didn't think we'd see you around here for a while yet. You know how it goes, Malik. Duty calls. Don't I know it. I was in my wingsuit halfway to the top of the Renaissance Center when I got the 911. But you? Six months is a hell of a short time to come back from the dead. You sure you're ready for this? Only one way to find out. Roger that. The boss is already on board, arguing with the DPD's tactical response team. They've got the plant surrounded, but Mr. Seraph wants you to go in first. Are you all set here? Because the sooner we take off, the better it will be for everyone. I'm ready. Great. Then let's get airborne. I told Farida to put us down on a roof. I don't want the crowd seeing you go in. Fine. As long as she pulls you out the minute I'm gone. So what am I looking at here? Who are these guys? Pro-human purists, or so they say. The same purists who've been firebombing limb clinics all over the country. You buy that? No, I don't think it's a coincidence they hit us today, only hours after we moved the Typhoon in for assembly line factoring. The Typhoon? Megan's team was testing it the day that bastard... Who's on point for these guys? Adam. I know you and Megan were once... Who is on point for these guys? Goes by the name of Sanders. That's him, there. He's an augmented Adam. So he can't be one of the mercs who attacked us. But he did know exactly how to get inside our plant. Alright. So how do you want me to handle this? First priority is the Typhoon. I'm keeping SWAT out until you've secured it. As far as rules of engagement go, I'll defer to you. Lethal or non-lethal? I'm not about to take any chances. Lethal it is. But remember, they do have hostages, and I'd hate to see any of our people get caught in the crossfire. You remember what it's like in there? A lot of tight enclosed hallways, but the labs themselves are pretty open. High ceilings. So. Do you want something you can use from a distance, or up close? The closer the better, I think. 
That way I'll be sure they stay down. You got it. The Typhoon should be in the factoring labs, but Pritchard will tell you more as you go in. I've got him running comms. Terrific. Anything else? Keep your eyes open for hostages. Free them if you can, but the Typhoon is your number one priority. We developed it for the Alphabet agencies, and if we don't deliver it to them intact and still a secret, well, I'm sure you'll get the job done right. Gentlemen, prepare for landing. for a smoke every now and again, so be careful. Look at this. They're sending in a can opener to do a man's job. Those purity first assholes are just gonna love this. At any point during the game, you can access the in-game menu. The inventory holds all the items you are carrying with you. It has a fixed size, which can be upgraded through augmentation. You can move inventory items around, examine them, or combine them with upgrades. In the heat of battle, you can rely on the quick inventory instead. It allows you to quickly equip a weapon or change grenade type. The objective screen details your current missions and objectives. The log screen is a repository of all the emails and books you read on your journey. The map is a helpful tool that allows you to see where you are in relation to your objectives. Useful locations such as merchants and limb clinics are also marked. The augmentation trees are where you can spend experience points to upgrade augmentations you own. Simply select an augmentation and choose which upgrade you want to buy. Upgrading augmentations can be done anywhere, at any time.
Tell me you're the guy we've been twiddling our thumbs waiting for. SI Security. Name's Jensen. Jensen? Yeah. I thought I recognized you. Used to be on Team 2 till that Mexican town thing went down. I gotta say, you're the last person I pictured taking orders from a CEO. Things change. Not always for the better. Feel like getting in there and doing whatever it is your boss wants you to do? Because maybe then we can do our job. We've got people inside. Any idea where I should look for them? Yeah. Your plant manager, Josie Thorpe, managed to slip a call out before someone snatched her cell. She said the hostages are being held in an office near the assembly labs. Makes sense. The workers were setting up for a production run, so they'd have been concentrated there. You know more about that than I would. Anything else? Intel on these purists. How much you got? How much you want? The leader's name is Sanders, right? What's his story? Zeke Sanders. We're running background on him now. Looks like he fought two tours in the Gulf. One of them on a recycle military bill. You mean he's augmented? Seraph told me he's not. He used to be augmented. Says his odds made him do evil shit, so he ripped him out. Now he's got a whole crew of gullible street kids listening to his crap and ready to die for him. Or kill. How many am I looking at down there? Hard to say. We've spotted three in the courtyard, maybe half a dozen inside. But that's a sketchy estimate at best, since we seem to be getting a loop playback off your intellicams. That shouldn't be possible. I told Seraph to make sure Pritchard overhauled the system. Well, someone inside must be tech savvy, because all we're seeing is a loop. For all we know, there could be five, ten, or three dozen perps in there. They communicate any demands yet? Not yet, but I get the feeling they're not that organized. Most of the guys I've seen look like street bangers and thugs. The kind who get their jollies trashing equipment. You ask me, is the man in charge you have to worry about? I think I've heard enough. You sure? Wouldn't want to make your boss unhappy. You look pretty dug in up here. What's the React team plan? We got Alpha as point and Bravo as wing, both standing by to breach the target. We're coordinating from here, but until your boss gives us the go-ahead, we're just holding our dicks. Realistically, how much time do I have before any shooting starts? According to protocol, none. According to your lawyers? The sooner you get in there, the sooner we can hose this powder keg down and call it a day. I got it from here. Sit tight. Wait for Seraph's signal. Like we got a choice. Fucking time. You know there are hospitals in there, right? All the time you got here. This tour will take you to another roof overlooking the loading docks. Best way in. Now hurry. Jensen, it's me, Pritchard. Where are you? On a roof overlooking the plant. Good. Your point of entry should be through shipping and receiving. Should be, Francis. What the hell does that mean? We have an employee entrance there. Heavily guarded by purists, no doubt. So, if you're not a fan of the frontal assault, I suppose you could try accessing the building's roof. Getting too close to any guard is a risk. You're better off staying far away from them. Learn their patrols and time your moves accordingly. If you can avoid it, it's generally better not to engage them. Sure, a lone target may be tempting, but you never know. Backup might be right around the corner. If you have no other choice, try taking out your targets silently. By moving up behind them, 
and tapping the takedown button to put them to sleep. Killing them is a more permanent solution, but also involves making more noise. To do it, simply hold the takedown button. Whether you kill or stun, all takedowns burn up energy. If your energy bar is empty, you will not be able to use your augmentations. You can, however, replenish your energy cells through the consumption of nutrients. Regardless, don't leave bodies lying out in the open. If they are found, an alarm will be called in. So grab them and drag them out of the way. Yeah, everything seems under control. No sign of spark. No sign of anything. Being stealthy hinges on sight and sound. Crouching down will assure you are making the least amount of noise possible. Line of sight is important, and by keeping behind cover, you'll stand a better chance that enemies won't detect you. Avoid jumping and sprinting, as it will certainly give away your position. What the fuck is that?
Richard, I'm in. The door worked just fine. I'm happy for you. The Typhoon is in the factoring labs. There's an elevator just past the assembly labs that will take you to it. Got it. Give me an excuse, and none of these body polluters gets out of here alive. You hear me? We're taking a stand for the human race. This is self-defense. Brush this place, I dare you. We've got a little surprise for you in here. Reporters, make sure you get all of this. Tell the world. When you see what we find in here, then you'll know. You'll all finally listen. Blazing. We split up. 
something moving over there. Fuck! Deke said there'd be something in here. Lay off, man. Nothing there. Anybody seen D Rag? Probably smoking a cigarette. Why? He shouldn't be wandering off like that. See, wants us all on full alert. What for? Popos ain't coming in here. Jensen, I just tried to unlock the assembly lab door, but my override codes aren't working. Someone's changed the protocols. What? Didn't you plug the... I'm on it. But until I find this particular breach and fix it, you'll have to hack the door manually. Pritchard out. When hacking, your goal is to take control of a device's registries, so you can access the security codes within. To do it, you must navigate the network, capturing nodes as you go along. You begin a hack from your point of entry in the system, the I.O. port. To capture a node, simply place the cursor over it and hold the interaction button. A wheel will appear, showing you the programs that can be used against it. 
Traveling from node to node is accomplished using bridges. A bridge can be unidirectional or bidirectional, as shown by its arrows. Each time you capture a node, there is a chance the network will detect your presence. The higher a node's rating, the greater the likelihood that you will be detected. If detected, don't panic. You still have a chance, you just need to hurry. The network will try to trace your entry point and boot you out of the system. If you manage to capture the registries before the network trace reaches your I.O. port, you'll be okay. Access granted.